Symphony Concerto here, the internet's busiest music nerd. Thank you for watching, and it's time, it's time for a review of the new Shellac record, Dude Incredible. This is the latest full-length LP from famed underground rock outfit Shellac. They have been releasing albums pretty steadily since the mid-90s. For example, their debut LP, At Action Park, a pretty significant record in the noise rock, post-hardcore, math rock canon. But a great deal of Shellac's reputation is built upon that of one of its members, Steve Albini. Of course, we cannot downplay the input from other members such as Todd Trainer and Bob Weston. Bob, you might also remember him from doing tape loops and sound effects for Mission of Burma. But Steve is a super producer, engineer, studio owner. He's worked with everyone from Slint to the Pixies, Nirvana, Don Cab, the Jesus Lizard, Screaming Females, Cloud Nothings. And despite my love of his other projects like Big Black, sometimes Steve's reputation as a producer and an engineer overshadows his influence as an artist. Regardless, that is what we are going to focus on here with this new LP. Dude Incredible is an album of music that is as clearly and as boldly stated as the title that represents it. This thing is nine tracks, 33 minutes. We have guitars, drums, various members of the band trading off on vocal duties. There are loads of very crunchy, sharp, distorted guitars and bass guitar on this thing. Sometimes the guitars can get kind of shrill or so distorted that the sound is just like destructive. It's on fire, it's crumbling. Shellac continues on this new record to offer pummeling grooves and riffs that oftentimes are in a really weird time signature. On this new record, Shellac continues to offer pummeling riffs, some of which ride some, some off-kilter grooves. A lot of these riffs or guitar leads are repeated to help bring tension up as the song progresses. The vocals feature some yelling, some screaming, some kind of raw spoken word, a little bit of amateurish singing. And the production, as usual, is pretty clear. It's pretty crisp. The drums are really boomy. The guitars and the bass are really close and up in your face. I think the vocals are a little muffled, unfortunately, on this record when comparing them to previous shellac efforts, especially at Action Park and a thousand hertz. But still, on this new LP, like on previous releases, the vocals are usually pretty stark and no BS. One of my favorite tracks from 1000 Hertz, you'll hear a lyric like, this is such a sad fucking song, we'll be lucky if I don't break out crying. All of these characteristics I just mentioned, you can find running pretty continually through the entire Shellac discography. Shellac sticks to its self-applied minimalist tag as well. There aren't that many overdubs or layers on this record. The distortion isn't usually so heavy that it takes away from the, the dynamics of the guitars. Everything here is pretty free of reverb. The, the recording overall is just very dry. It's very clear that Shellac pulls a lot from bands like Mission of Burma, or have a great appreciation for the music of Fugazi, or take a great deal of influence from bands like Wire. And I guess it's cool to see that these influences still have a place on the band's newest records. It's also another instance of the incredibly raw and dynamic performances that usually find themselves on a shellac record too. There is a lot of interplay on this record, 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 record. Steve, Bob, and Todd are just together in a way that you don't really hear a lot of bands together in studio recordings these days, whether it be in commercial radio music or even in the underground because it's easier to record stuff digitally and just kind of multi-track stuff now. And this comes out right from the start of this LP with the opening track that features a guitar riff that feels like it's pulled right out of a stoner rock song, but they groove it out in a totally different way once the bass and the drums come in. This is a six minute long track. There's numerous parts to it, a few surprise changes. I love that hook that I, I can't totally make out the lyrics, mostly because the, the vocals do feel kind of muffled in comparison to vocals on previous records like I mentioned earlier but still the hand of the hand of the hand of the hand the energy the electricity behind this part in the song is just crushing there are a few likable angular left field rock songs on this record like the very dreary track Gary or even the incredibly funny at the very end I'm riding bikes but most of the tracks here feel more like abstract experiments in rock art. And that's totally fine. That's why I enjoy Wire albums like 154, or why I enjoy earlier shellac records. This results in moments like 
all the surveyors where in the middle of the track with these pummeling raw guitar riffs you're getting these calls of caw 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 the song surveyor is great too this album has quite a, an obsession with surveyors although i wish that obsession led to a good track on the mayor slash the surveyor which is kind of a one minute instrumental where the guitar riff is so horrendously half-baked it just kind of leads me to think did you write this did you write anything or did you just figure you were gonna wing it while i do like shellac's performances and their energy and their aesthetic i guess you can't really go into this lp expecting a catchy straightforward or even an entirely visceral rock album because there are some i guess anti songs on here tracks like you came in me or the people's microphone hard-hitting tracks but they're also kind of daunting and, and challenging too you know you're going to need patience for these songs i suppose although these tracks too a lot like mayor surveyor do feel a tad underwritten as well overall i would say this is a pretty good lp there are some underwhelming tracks there are some great tracks the entire album itself is kind of short and given that shellac really hasn't made any effort toward reinventing themselves on this lp it does have a lot of similarities with their past catalog although in a lot of ways they are doing what they have always done as well as they have always done it I'm glad bands like this are still kicking. If you're a diehard experimental rock fan, I would say give this record a listen and especially check out their back catalog if you haven't already. I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this thing. Tran. Zition, if you've given this record a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, shellac dude, incredible forever.